afternoon all Tuesday afternoon we are out with RB 50cc scrambler yes so they do a 50cc version that does 30 mile an hour if you're into the scramblers you can buy a 50cc version and I think there's about 100 quid difference between this and the 125 on the side stand at the moment so we've done loads of ride reviews on these it's a 30 mile an hour bike it's not going to break any speed limits so it's an ideal bike to get you backwards and forwards if you're 16 your first bike get you backwards and forwards to school college or to work but while we're down here at Dobby's just have a look at this RB's sticker board is going mad everybody's putting the bike stickers on there well done boys right so test ride on a scrambler how to annoy a motorcyclist get it get on the bike from the wrong side now I've got bent legs I've got very bent legs on this it's a tiny tiny bike it's about the same size as a standard 125 scrambler but it's just got a 50 cc engine in it so we're going to go out we're going to have a run around town it is 15 48 it's Wednesday, uh, Tuesday afternoon and everybody's green charging at the moment so super sausage video will be up in the next day or so I've been editing like a mad thing trying to get it out and as Peaky said to me do you want to do 10 second clips or 10 15 second clips change your angle which is what I've done it's taken me absolutely ages to edit that down off of two cameras because obviously you have to edit your insta360 footage get all your angles right and then uh, obviously export it and then move it into your Filmora to edit down even further so I have spent about two days on it now all of Sunday night and the whole of Monday night editing up now before you ask and you go you've got no mirrors on the bike RB yes I know we prepped the bike up the other day and they literally they come in we build the bike come on let's go so we build the bike pull the wheels on it and we leave everything else in the boxes ready to go so it's battery mirrors all the bits and pieces for the bike all the rubbers and that until a customer buys the bike so obviously we're going to prep this one up and brought the box in battery on fuel in number plates on open the mirror box and unfortunately mirrors broke in transit so we've had a phone WK and said to them oh need some mirrors yes we'll get you some out we're gonna go down we're gonna rob another bike for you RB thank you boys so that is why this bike has no mirrors at the moment let's go little bike now with these WK's you really have to give them a handful of revs same with the uh, the Colt as well you really have to get them revs really high to get into your next gear if you just drive it like a normal uh, 125 you're going to be poddling along and you're not going to get any torque so you've got to get the revs up and then use third and fourth for running around one and two you're pulling away gears just use third and fourth up and down third and fourth I'm in fourth and we're doing 20 mile an hour behind a learner so ideal but then just whack the power on in fourth gear and away you go so that's how it works just means that I've got to do a lot of shoulder checking and obviously side checking but obviously uh, how HR oh you can't test ride the bike it's got no mirrors yes you can uh, mirrors are an obligatory item if you go and see some of these guys that got the stunt bikes and the uh, the R1s and the R6s most of them don't have mirrors on their bike they can't be bothered with mirrors they do the shoulder checks or look over the shoulder so mirrors are not required on an MOT unlike a car where you need at least two mirrors to pass your MOT with a bike you do not need mirrors they are classed as an obligatory item all you'd end up with is just uh, an advisory no mirrors so that breaks that mold for you so that means I can ride it but obviously I never use mirrors anyway when does the last time you see me look in a mirror it's always shoulder checks with RB I prefer to be seen behind and I went for fifth gear then no it's only got a four-speed box RB <coughs> excuse me <coughs> so we're gonna puddle around town 30 mile an hour get some miles on the bike so one and two you call the gears so we're in second round the roundabout we go 
check the shoulder. Now, if I just change gear normally, it takes you ages to build your speed up. Come on, 25 mile an hour. But when you're in a 30 mile an hour area, and especially with road humps, you can scoot between them. It's the best bit about having a motorcycle. You can scoot around the speed bumps. And my four o'clock alarm is going off in my pocket. <laughs> Let's go over and down. There we go. So suspension's quite hard on these little 50s. You can feel the bumps. And uh, I'll give a quick mention as well to uh, Jasmine from WK Bikes and she's, uh, she sent me a little box because um, obviously the box turned up at uh, Eclipse full of pens and stickers and bits and pieces and the girls opened it and went oh WK have sent us a load of stuff oh ok happy days and it wasn't until obviously we were moving all the stuff out of the box and we've, it's been in the uh, office for about four weeks there's a little note in there from Jasmine hey Rev just wanted to say thanks for all the videos that you do with the WK bikes. We're, you know, you're our number one uh, hero. I was like, oh, thanks, guys. Hope you enjoy the pen stickers. I was like, oh, great. So uh, if you're coming down for the uh, 7th of April, I've got a load of WK pens to give away. <laughs> they sent me hundreds of the damn things. So, happy days, yeah, thanks very much Jasmine and the team down at WK Bikes, absolutely love those guys, and I love their bikes as well. This Scrambler, I think is brilliant, for a 50cc, the Colt and this are brilliant, and obviously there are no other geared type of bikes out. Which way are you going? You can wait for me. So yeah, there are no geared 50ccs about. So most of it is all like twist and go peds now. Um, and most lads don't, you know, you're a lad. Oh, my mates have got scooters. Yeah, I'm going to have a bike. Now the difference being, obviously your 50cc ped is automatic. You twist, you go. But what great fun just to poddle around on a geared bike and have a little bit of fun. Come on then. You're going in here. Yes, I know you are. Come on then, let's go. It's your right of way. No indicator. He's going straight over. He's going... Oh, taxi driver, you turn! And lo and behold, look, double yellows. Oh, can't be bothered to walk around the corner. No, I'm just going to pull up on the double yellows. Ding, ding, bell end. So cranking up loads of miles, oh, we're going to go down the dual carriageway, up the hill, up past Tesco's and then back to the garage for a cup of coffee because I've got about 15 minutes to do more test riding and then we're doing 30, look at that, we're bang on 30 mile an hour, hey, I wonder if I can get any more out of it, 30, no that is it, 30, 30, <laughs> it will not do any more than 30, might do on a downhill slope. But, at least you know, you're not going to be breaking the speed limit around town. But it's obviously just got to get out of gears 1 and 2 because it is horrendously slow to get up the speed. But really wind that power on. But, as I say, it's a 50cc, it's your first bike. Now, while we're making our way back to the garage, um, someone did say in one of the forums that... The government are looking at this. Are 50cc peds really safe at 30 mile an hour? I don't have an issue. I'm always shoulder checking, watching my mirrors, position one. And if you were on a bicycle, you would be here pedalling along the road. All the roads in Milton Keynes are all dual carriageways, 70 mile an hour roads. So if you're on a bicycle, there is no red way or cycle path down here. You have to brave the dual carriageway. If you're on a 50cc, whether you're an older rider or a younger rider, you're going to be doing less than 30 mile an hour. 
So, is it safe? Of course it is. You just have to be totally aware of what is going on around you. And then obviously, keep an eye on them shoulder checks. So, what I am going to do is move out. Shoulder check, shoulder check, shoulder check, move. Check to my inside. There we go. So, yeah. But the government are actually looking at should they increase the 30 mile an hour limit and they were saying that they should increase it to 40 45 that would be nice because at least you would keep up with the flow of traffic and all these uh, stupid eu regulations your a1 your a2 your cbt your 17 you're limited to so many horsepower and so many kilowatts obviously when i took my test and we're talking god years ago um, I was straight on a 250, maximum horsepower that that bike was, you know, there was no, oh, you can't ride this, you can't ride that. And even the 125s back then used to do at least 70, 80 mile an hour. Even the 50s, you know, you're pottering around on a 50cc and you could get 50, maybe sometimes 55 out of a 50cc if you ported your bike up and messed around with the reed valves and everybody then back then had an fs1e yamaha or a honda ss50 and they were great bikes so they are looking at it but keep an eye on that because i think they should change it up to 45 mile an hour the same as 17 year old cbts i think we should be allowed to do at least 70 mile an hour most scoots do around about 50 55 so three miles on the bike I'm getting back to the garage my MOT is waiting I am going to grab a cup of coffee and crack on for the day watch out for the uh, super sausage run good video that and it's got Peaky Biker in it Wednesday night tomorrow night midweek mumble or well, by the time you watch this it's going to be tonight Wednesday Wednesday night it's 8 o'clock the Peaky Biker midweek mumble Friday's obviously bank holiday so there may be a live stream there may not we shall see, but until then, be well, ride safe, and from RB as always, it's a big goodbye from me.